Good afternoon, YouTube. Working on a 2013 Triumph Tiger Explorer 1200. And I'm doing, I'm gonna do the air filter in here and the spark plugs, gotta take this off. Okay, the tank is off already. I'm gonna explain how to take the tank off. There are two basically balance hoses in the front. I don't know if you can see this, okay. This this hose right there, we'll go around to the other side. That hose right there, okay, that hose right there. They balance this, the two sides of the tank. Um, this is the tank, if you look at it, it's like a giant horseshoe. So you have the two lobes on each side, okay? What I did, I had a full tank. So I pulled this hose off and I quickly put, let's see if you can see it. I quickly put a, um, a rubber uh, nipple on there to stop the fuel from flowing out. Then I took a five gallon, a five gallon uh, jug, a fuel jug. Well, you got to put this on, put this on the hose first. You put a, put a hose clamp on there first, okay? Pull this off of the, um, the spigot on the bottom of the tank. Put on a nipple real quick. Then you get a, put a fuel tank, or rather a, a gas can here, a five gallon gas can on a pedestal, like a box or something, and with a funnel. And then you just open this up and unload the tank. You see that the, the, the uh, you do the right side because the bike leans to the left. So that means the, the gas is gonna be on the left side and it's gonna come through the, the hose all the way to almost empty, which it did for me. Um, the next thing to do is in the back, you have a, a right breather hose, you have a left breather hose. You have another fuel line in the back here. Then you have your speedometer. I think it's a speedometer or something. And then you have your, your fuel pump power. I don't know if this is speedometer. It's, it's something to do with, the, with uh, something like that. And then you have your high pressure fuel rail, okay? This is a bitch to get off, especially um, when the tank is sitting on top of it. You have to squeeze these, these, you have to pull this down. This goes down to pull it up like that. And then you have to push there's little indents here on each side. You have to squeeze them. What I did was, I don't know where it went. I put a, a little block of wood, sat it like that so the fuel tank sat up so I could work underneath it, okay? So, like I said, you start here, unhook this hose, put a nipple on the tank, drain the fuel tank out. Then you go around to this side Unhook the hose, put a nipple on. There's almost no fuel left in the tank. Then you're gonna disconnect this one. Put a nipple on the tank. Then you take off the, the left breather, the right breather. Unplug these two electrical lines, and then you're gonna cycle the engine. You're gonna do this while the battery is disconnected. You gotta, dis, you gotta attach the battery for like a minute. You're gonna cycle the engine till it stalls. And that means it's gonna drop the pressure in the fuel line. And uh, then you can move this, this up, move it up. No, I can't do it. Move it up like that. Push those two buttons and pop this off. It's still a bitch to get off, okay? Uh, next thing is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna open this up, get to the air filter, but I have to take this whole unit off to do the spark plugs. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll be back. Okay, YouTube, so now we're at the air box and you can see that filter, that filter needed, needed changing, it's dirty. Okay, so you take off, there's a bunch of uh, hex heads, screws, you take them off all the way around. Okay, there's a um, electronic box that sits on top of the cover right here, has two fittings um, and those are star, um, what size is it? It's star T20, T20, okay? You take those off, you move this out of the way. Um, you have to take off an electric fitting here, an electric fitting here. Then there's a breather hose down here, which is this 
this one that's bent backwards. This breather hose right here, this one, uh, let me get it over here. This one goes right there. This long breather hose goes here. The one that's U-shaped goes right below this fitting. This is the U-shaped one down here. And there's two eight millimeter bolts that are right here. They need to be disconnected. Okay, and now it's free. Then you have to pull it off of the, um, to pull it off of the, um, the manifold, uh, or rather the, the butterflies. Okay, so it's free. Oh, and also here you have to push, you have to push the snorkel through. So we're just gonna take it out gently. Just like that. And then we can get underneath. And we can get underneath to the spark plugs. And that's where we're headed to. We're headed to those spark plugs. All right? So I'm gonna change the spark plugs out and then I'll be back on. Okay, YouTube, before I button it all the way up. So I got down there, I got the plugs out. The, uh, the coil packs are a bitch to get out. And um, especially the third one. This is the, um, the ABS system right here. And it's got two hard lines that go right down over the, um, the coil on the third cylinder, the third cylinder on the right. Um, pain in the ass. Okay, um, left cylinder, first cylinder was easy to get out. Um, take off the, the uh, electric plug from the coil pack, pop the coil pack out. You can go down, you can go down with just a regular uh, socket. This is a um, 5 8 that's upside down, but 5 8 for these spark plugs. And here's the, here's the plugs that were in there. They've seen better days. They're all three of them. These are the three. So, anyhow, so you need a, you need a full length extension, three eighths, and a five eighths socket, deep well, and this is the one with the little rubber on there. Um, so you go down in, pull that first plug, put the new one in, and uh, put the coil pack back on. The second, the middle, the middle cylinder, the second cylinder, you need a universal joint. You're not getting down in there. A third cylinder you need a universal joint you're not getting down in there um, once you put that in there you can you can maneuver it out uh, the other thing I found is the the spark plugs don't have tips on them um, they just have the screw the little sc tiny screw tip so they don't stick inside your socket so you need you need a magnet to pull them out once you loosen them all the way you're gonna have to send a magnet down inside the uh, socket well or, or the uh, spark plug well, pull them out. So you take the three off, put three back in, uh, put your coil packs back on, plug the coil packs back up. Then the next step is we're putting the air back, the air box back on. Um, you have your eight millimeter bolts down in here that need to be attached, you need to attach the, the U breather hose, you need to attach this other breather hose, you need to attach this electric connection, you need to attach this electric connection, put your new, put your, well, I'm not gonna take it out, but I have I have a brand new, well, why not? Oh, come on. Brand new filter, put a little bead of, uh, of grease around it. You've got a gasket in there, but put a little bead of grease on there so that you get a good same thing on the on the filter a little bit of grease and um put your cover back on and i'm going to do that i'm going to tighten this up and then i'll come back on okay youtube bike is back together again you just do everything in reverse uh, i will tell you this that putting the tank back on was a little bit of a pain in the ass trying to get these these mounting bolts that are right here lined up uh, there's there's rubber grommets in the front three of them one in the center and two for each wing of the tank Back in back underneath in here. You can't see them because the plastics cover them. but um, trying to Wiggle the tank back and forth to get these things started was a pain in the ass um, Getting the high pressure fuel line on was a bit of a pain in the ass But um, I got it done um, What else? The plastics were a little difficult. This this piece back in here that, that runs runs around the inside 
that piece, um, trying to get these these bolts, the, the ones down in there too, I'm gonna see if you can see them, those bolts down in there, getting them lined up were a bit difficult. This piece was straightforward, getting it on. Um, seat, of course, went on straightforward. Um, as you can see, I'll start her up. Oh, clutch. Goes like a kitten. Everything is running good. Fur is just like a kitten. Okay. Final thoughts. Um, these are the spark plugs you need. This is uh, CR8 EK. CR8 EK. You need N N NGK. You need three of those, obviously. There's the old filter. Like I said, it's filthy. It was filthy. Air filter is TB1212. TB1212 KN. This is the only thing I could find. I really don't like using KN because they sometimes let in more dirt than they should. But um, that's all I could find online. So it's TB1212. And CR8EK. All right. As always, any questions, leave it in the comments.